In this video, let us solve problems by applying trigonometry. We've got a problem here which reads like this. A person standing on the bank of a river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degrees. Now when he retreats 20 meters from the bank, he finds the angle to be 30 degrees. Find the height of the tree and the breadth of the river. This is the question. Which is pretty fine, is what I'd say. I mean, not as straightforward without a diagram, maybe. But otherwise, yeah, let me draw the diagram now. What it says is a person standing on the bank of a river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degrees. Now, say for example, this is the river. Let this be the width of the river. And yeah, we've got a tree here. Yeah, so let this be AB be the width of the river and then let H be the height of the tree. This is the tree. It's named the tree as BC. Now what this tree does is that it subtends an angle. Say now this is the river and this is one bank and this is one bank. B is one bank in which there is the tree and then A is the other side of the bank. So, all right, the tree subtends an angle of, say, 60 degrees, right, on the opposite bank. So let this be that opposite bank and let this be 60 degrees, okay. What happens next is, a person standing on the bank of a river observes that the angle subtended by a tree on the opposite bank is 60 degrees. So now let, let, let the person be at the point A, alright? Let the person be at the point A. And what he does is, now here, uh, when he re retreats 20 meters from the bank, alright? So he comes back 20 meters from the bank. So say, he comes back something like this. So say from A, uh, let us say, from A, let's say he's come back to uh, D, all right, let this point be D. Now from this point, he finds the angle to be 30 degrees. Now here, the tree would subtend an angle of 30 degrees, all right, not 60 yet, because, you know, distance is more. As you go, the angle kind of decreases. And as you go close to the tree, the angle will try to reach 90 degrees. Right, so now this is 30 degrees. All right, now here is this person. Now he's retreated 20 meters. So he was here at A. Now he's come back 20 meters from A here. Right, so now let this, this is the width of the river. Let that be X meters. And let the height of the tree be H meters. So what are we supposed to do now? Now this is the data that we've got and we converted that into a diagram here. So the final question is that find the height of the tree, that is find H, and the breadth of the river X. So this is what we have to do. So now let's go to the problem and see how do we go about solving this problem, finding the values of H and X. All right, now, as I've told you everything about the diagram, let's straight away go to the problem uh, that is the solution. From the right angle triangles ABC and the right angle triangle DBC, you can see, right? This is definitely a right angle. So ABC and DBC. So from triangles, that is right angle triangles ABC and triangle DBC, we've got, let us say we take tan because what we've got is we've got the adjacent and the opposite, right? That is what we need to find and that's the data all about. So let's take tan 60 equals uh, opposite by adjacent, right? So opposite is H and adjacent is X. You can see this, this is the adjacent. So H by X, we have tan 30 degrees here from the triangle DBC, the bigger triangle. We've got the opposite as H again and the adjacent as 20 plus X, right? So it's 20 plus X. So tan 60 is root 3. So root 3 is uh, H by X and tan 30 is 1 by root 3 and that is equal to H by 20 plus X. So we solving these two equations simultaneously should give us the answers that's what it is all about so we've got h as x into root 3 here and then here we've got 20 plus x by root 3 equals h right so now h equals x root 3 and h equals 20 plus x root 3 so let's equate these two now so we will get x root 3 equals 20 plus x over root 3 so let us take root 3 to the left hand side. We get x 
multiplied by root 3 multiplied by root 3 which is 3 so that's 3x equals 20 plus x so we've got 3x minus x equals 20 we've got 2x equals 20 and we've got x equals 20 over 2 which is nothing but 10 so therefore we found the value of x as 10 meters or the breadth of the river measures 10 meters so here we've got this 10 so all we have to do now is find h which is simple mathematics from now on you just have to you found the value of x you just have to substitute the value of 10 let's take this equation we've got h equals x times root 3 so we have h equals x is 10 meters so 10 times root 3 now since it is measure of height let us you know substitute the value of root 3 as whatever that is so the value of root of 3 is 1.732 so 1.732 multiplied by 10 gives us 17.32 so therefore the height of the tree is 17.32 meters so this was one of those kinds of problems in which we applied trigonometry we just had to use tan that's all we had to use both the right angle triangles so it's all about uh, finding and identifying the right angle triangles and figuring out whether to use sine cos or tan and then find the ones those are unknown so pretty simple problem this was i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more such problems